Hey pet parents, welcome to our channel. Uh, today uh, we're going to be answering a lot of questions that you might be curious about. One of those many questions is do dogs get periods and if so when does that happen? So I'm going to answer this question in four sections. Uh, section one, uh, we're going to start about with the Easter cycle. So the Easter cycle, unlike the menstrual cycle in uh, humans, starts at about uh, the, the age at which dogs hit puberty. Uh, usually about six to nine months in most dogs, but uh, it is again breed specific. Uh, some large dogs can even experience this at a year to a year and two months. The estrus cycle consists of four stages, proestrus, estrus, diestrus and anestrus. Moving on to the second segment, we're going to be talking about the signs and symptoms of the estrus cycle. Uh, proestrus is the initial stage where you might see changes in behavior, irritability, and uh, sometimes a bloody discharge. During proestrus, the initial stage, it usually lasts about nine days. You'd notice a swollen vulva, a bloody discharge, or a straw-colored discharge, and excessive licking of the genital area. Um, however, uh, your dog won't usually be receptive to mating at this stage. In the estrus stage, uh, which is the second phase, it usually lasts about nine days as well. Uh, you'll notice things like a swollen vulva. Uh, you might see some discharge on occasion from the vulva as well. Um, but m most of the changes here would be behavioral. You'd see um, increased uh, recep receptivity towards mating. Um, there'd be heightened interest for male dogs in the, and during that time. This is usually a time you need to be careful about your dog and not let, her, uh, let them out. Um, and because accidental mating can happen uh, and um, dogs usually, female dogs usually exhibit a few other behavioral signs like uh, increased agitation, uh, restlessness and they can also get ap aggressive during this stage. Following estrus is a stage called diestrus which, is, which lasts about 60 to 90 days where you'll see uh, stabilizing hormonal levels, you might see frequent urination sometimes uh, usually at the beginning of the stage uh, there'll also be attract, uh, reduced attractiveness to males during that stage. Um, this is usually the stage where uh, dogs are either pregnant or not. Uh, and sometimes they go in through a stage called pseudo-pregnancy. And finally, uh, anestrus, which is a period of sexual uh, inactivity. This usually lasts about several months and is like um, a resting phase for the reproductive system. Moving on to section 3, managing the estrus cycle. Managing your dog's estrus cycle is essential for her well-being and your peace of mind. I would recommend spaying your dog to avoid these problems. For effective management of your dog's estrus cycle, uh, consider a few of these products like doggy diapers, um, uh, comfortable beds, make sure you take your dog out on uh, walks on a leash, no uh, off-leash walks, and ensure proper nutrition for your dog. When you're cleaning up, make sure you use a pet safe uh, floor cleaner or uh, surface cleaner. Additionally, I'd recommend spaying. Uh, speak to your veterinarian about this. What this does is it reduces the chances of unwanted pregnancies. Um, it reduces populations of dogs, uh, especially when you do it for your community dogs. And uh, it reduces uh, several of the behavioral changes that happen during the estrus cycle. You'll also notice that um, uh, in a lot of dogs, it reduces the chances of uh, tumors and cancers that can arise. Our dogs rely on us for care and compassion, especially during these times of stress. Uh, if you do have any further questions, please comment them down below. This is Dr. Shantanu. Uh, if you have any further questions, please subscribe to our channel and I will see you on the next video.